Deity of God, truly a goddess. Anas, Nijawagi Oba, Devate. Anas, Nijawagi Oba, Devadutal Hagi. And some say, Father, more than medicine or the surgery, I am today healthy because of the approach of the nurse. Someone saying, but I live today because of her. Sometimes it happens, I live today because of her means the love that we have given maybe so much, which is an impulsive reaction for him that I live because of her. Some feedback from the nurses also. Father, I give now what I wish for my dad. He is no more. What I wish for my dad or what I wish for my dad, I give now. It's glory for me to be an instrument of God. Mother Teresa said, I will not do it for money, but I do it for God. Ross Williams says, to do what nobody else will do, a way that nobody else can do, in spite of all we go through, it is to be a nurse. As Dr. Lina rightly said, during the pandemic, we understood all the need of a nurse at that time, especially the hands of the nurses were so busy. The feet of the nurses were not on the floor, were on constant move. The minds of the nurses were geared towards more care. The hearts of the nurses were burdened or filled with heaviness of compassion. The world, the entire world realized what is pandemic. And the buzz word that we heard during the pandemic is Corona Warriors. It is not only warriors to nurses. Understand this and you are also called to be truthful, righteous, sincere, Faithful and also to remember the dignity of human labor to a nursing service. Our chief guest, Dr. Lena Casey, we are proud to have you today amidst us. Perhaps I think um, after leaving our institution, maybe coming for the first time on an official uh, visit. And also, I think I remember you may be the first one to or somebody else to pursue PhD among a nursing faculty. That's a good uh, note for you. And you nurses. Nurses referred to as goddesses and angels. There is nothing parallel or greater to an act of love in saving life. Bible, Gospel according to John, chapter 15, verse 13 says, Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. I am also reminded of the parable of the Good Samaritan when Jesus tells the lawyer, go and do likewise. You know the parable. What the Good Samaritan did for that person who was injured. He nursed him, 
bandaged his wounds, took care of him, took him to an inn and told the innkeeper, take care of this man. And he paid and whatever is additional, I will come back and pay. So what Jesus had told to this lawyer, do likewise, I think you will understand what is the message. For the past few years, I have been here and I have heard the reactions of clinical facilities make the best use of the library and online resources and teachers who are very qualified and experienced. And I can only tell you that the nurses in this hospital, they are all experienced nurses, lot of them, and they are able to guide and assign you tasks and make the best use of those expertise. So then nobody will tell that graduate nurses don't know anything and that we need to do a participation we need to give a practical training to a registered nurse who completed four years or three year nursing program. That is the meaning when somebody in responsible position, say a vice chancellor or a director of the hospital says, graduates and uh, diploma holders don't know anything. We need not pay them anything. We can take them as practical nurses for one year, let them work and learn. It's the meaning to the teacher it is demeaning to the institution where we learned. So that has to be kept in mind when we think about the oath and how we realize this oath in the future days. And you are also the lucky ones to having, sta um, having started your study in an accredited institution. Your hospital is accredited, your college is accredited. What more you need? The old timers are not from accredited institutions nor did they have teachers with higher levels of qualifications or we hadn't heard anything about evidence-based practice. So these are all the advantages. I think the ones who succeed is going to be somebody who will exploit and explore all the opportunities that come in front of them or go in search of such opportunities. I'm sure all of you will take this advice and fulfill the responsibilities and be professional nurses with adequate knowledge, good attitude towards service and so attitude towards life and skillful enough to take up beginner roles soon after you complete your graduation or diploma ceremony. And what about the learning opportunities that you have? Now, accredited institutions may be already telling you that there is something called participatory learning. What is participatory learning? It has to happen in the interdisciplinary environment. You learn from the nurses, you learn from the doctors, you learn from the physiotherapists. So ultimately, you learn. What is student-centric learning? You cannot depend on the teacher or the institution for everything. You have the syllabus, you have to read. You have to watch videos that are available. Every opportunity is available in this era of um, e-learning or era of social media or internet availability. So let every opportunity be made use of you so that what you repeated after your principal will be the realization. And why do we have the oath taking ceremony now when you are just starting your profession? You may be wondering. Gone are the days when nurses were not having graduations or diploma ceremonies. When they began forever, they remained as nurses. They were in graduation days. So you will have a graduation day. At that time, you will be repeating the graduate's pledge. And the pledge is more or like this. But why this is repeated after today is because to give you a sense of the expectations, so that you realize it and once again you repeat this oath at the time of graduation. I only wish that all the expectations that we have will be fulfilled and all of you will make use of the opportunities and 
your expertise of your teachers and then at the end of three or four years you become competent nurses ready to take up the challenges and there are great opportunities waiting for you especially covid has taught us that there is a huge scope for healthcare professions especially nurses every hospital needs every country needs nurses and they don't need medium for nurses they need nurses who are skilled who are knowledgeable they may not be knowing exactly what to do or they may not be experts but the graduate nurse should at least know why things are done how things are done of course the role of soft skills play an important role and if you realize this and work towards your dream all of you will be fulfilling your ambition of being professional nurses if many of you may be have expectations of going abroad or continuing higher studies or being teachers scope is huge and every day the educational environment is changing now look at the national education policy if you have read the newspaper you will be seeing that after four years graduation you can go for phd nursing so don't think that the subject of research that you study during your graduation is not amongst you on this important occasion of lighting the lamp and we know that this much time what you spend inside this hall has been a charged environment where everybody feels so committed and so serious about what we are doing and we only wish that all of this what you repeated after your principal will be lived thereafter and it is a joyous occasion and it's good for all of us to be reminded of what is expected of a professional nurse and society has expectations teachers have expectations parents have expectations when they send you here and it is very demanding to meet the expectations of so many of us including your teachers so what do we do to meet these expectations of the society whom you are going to serve and all other stakeholders who are interested in your welfare and learning from my experience i can only say that we have to be very much involved in what we do and be passionate about what we do i remember the days in the victoria hospital where there weren't enough nurses hardly any nurses and there weren't so many teachers but then we had the huge patient load which could not be managed by anybody and it was that experience that taught me lot about nursing because nobody told me do it the nurse would sit there and tell you now you divide the patients you do the service for them and you finish one task by then it is time for the next task to begin so you have no rest if you are to write your care plan if you are to collect your history you will have to find some time and collect those information it was tiring but it was a very good learning experience and then of course we had books but you have the privilege that you have excellent library facilities we had to run and search for journals in the dusty cupboards but now we have lot of online resources not go google of course that i am suggesting but we have excellent resources that is